Hurricane Milton was downgraded this morning to a strong Category 4 storm, but officials say it could still be the worst hurricane to hit Florida in a century. Milton is set to make landfall overnight on Florida's west coast, bringing with it catastrophic winds, rain and storm surge. Terry Hornstein reports from Tampa, where meteorologists are warning the storm surge could get as high as 15 feet. Storm surge hit Key West early Wednesday morning as Hurricane Milton barreled closer to Florida. We are bracing and are prepared to receive a major hit. Mandatory evacuation orders were issued for areas along the Gulf Coast, including the city of Treasure Island. The monster storm is expected to make landfall early Thursday before sweeping across the central part of the state. Forecasters say the intensity of Milton is like nothing Floridians have ever seen before. This is a massive storm that is going to bring catastrophic wind, but also flooding and storm surge. And so listen to your local officials. Nobody needs to die from this storm. I want people to get out of harm's way. But some are choosing to stay, including people in this retirement community in St. Petersburg, where debris from Hurricane Helene still litters the neighborhood. I don't have anywhere to go, and I'm afraid to get stranded somewhere on the interstate. Still, others got the message. The roads remain packed with residents trying to get to safety. We don't feel it's safe uh, with my son and their family to, to stick around. Gas shortages have also become a problem. This is the only place that has fuel. Federal officials say yeah. residents may not need to go far to get to safety. In some areas, just going a few miles inland could make all the difference. Terry Hornstein, CBS News, Tampa. Meteorologists say Milton is so powerful its impacts will be felt far outside the hurricane's cone. Gusty winds will reach well away from the center of the storm.